people united will never be divided. For me, the walking aspect of it was putting myself in those immigrant shoes, the same shoes that my mother and myself wore when we crossed here. The Trail for Humanity was a 26-day, over 300-mile walk from Merced to the U.S.-Mexican border with mothers and children leading the way. We all agreed that we wouldn't be able to be apart from our children for more than a day. It was really important for our children to witness what was about to unfold. We knew that, you know, it would bring attention, but we wanted to bring the attention back to the person, to the human being that's going through the struggle. It was a call for people to really pause, to start having a different conversation about other human beings that are being criminalized. Women who are crossing over, um, for them it's not an option of if they're going to get raped. They know they're going to get raped. So they have to inject themselves to not be able to conceive from the rapes that they know they're going to endure. For the children, you know, being in these detention centers, knowing that they're being fed at five in the morning and five in the afternoon, that at times they're so thirsty, they're drinking water out of the toilet. For the fathers, you know, knowing that they're crossing through that Sonoran Desert in 130 degrees. They're not putting themselves through 130 degrees because they want to, it's because of the necessity. Our obligation is to give them a voice. Our obligation is to stand for them because they're unable to, and that's why we're walking. When we walk like those last miles um, to the border, one of the UC Berkeley students who is undocumented, one thing she said that it really like tore me and made me check my privilege. She said, you know, it's really hard knowing that that's there and I have family there and I'll probably never be able to go visit them. It's a very hard thing to swallow and sometimes the words just get stuck. I don't think I could have been able to actually realize my full potential if it wasn't for UC Berkeley. We gave a piece of ourselves to um, the free speech movement that started 50 years ago, that we carried on um, that legacy and took a piece of that on the road. My eyes have already been open and I can't shut them to the reality. There's still hope for change and that we have to collectively do it together.